Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the first two weeks of January 2020. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Leo for the first two weeks of January? Mm -hmm. This is just going to be an overall energy right here. And there it is. It did come out reversed. We are going to flip it. But somebody is getting unstuck. Okay, they're getting unstuck. They have been tied up in a situation, trapped, choosing to stay there. Okay, choosing to... Um, stay in a situation that is very conflicting it's a five here there's adversity we have somebody here that has a victim mentality you know that has been choosing to be a victim they are probably now choosing to break free from this situation that has kept them trapped um this is somebody who you know uh Plays, plays it up, you know, really likes to get attention. Um, that's why they choose to stay in this situation because a negative attention is attention. So we have somebody here that has been staying in a situation just to get attention, even if it's not positive. Okay, so they've been choosing, you know, uh, to stay for the fact that they're getting attention. It's not a good situation to stay in. Because it came out reversed, it's like finally choosing to break free from this situation. It's, you know, I don't need this negative attention. You know, when you call in negative attention, it's stealing your energy, okay? It's consuming you. It's, it's, you're choosing that. It's, it doesn't bring you anything good, okay? So, um, I feel like the next two weeks you guys are going to be breaking free from something that you have chosen to stay in for some time because, you know, for some reason it was giving you attention, but maybe you just don't need that attention anymore. Maybe you're finally finding your confidence and your willpower and your strength to uh, break free because you know you deserve something more positive. I mean, this is negative attention it's attention but it's not good attention okay everybody can see that whoever is doing this they can see that this person um has self-esteem issues this person has self-confidence issues this person will do anything for attention even if it means staying in a bad situation okay everybody can see that too this person is weak very weak But this is finding the strength. So I think I will leave it reversed because it's better in reversed, okay? The fact is, it's, this is getting unstuck from a negative situation, finding the self-confidence and the self-esteem, knowing that you deserve better. You don't need negative attention. You need positive attention. And you don't need... This is like I don't need anybody. I don't. I can take care of myself. What else do we have for Leo for the first two weeks? You may be severing ties and cutting cords in the next two weeks. I'm done. I'm done with this negative situation. There's nothing good here. It's a trap. And you've been allowing yourselves to be in this trap. You stayed there. Because like I said, Attention is attention, even if it's negative attention. It's really a sad situation to be in. So I think you guys are going to be severing ties, cutting the cords. This is good news. 
you may be coming together with somebody that is better suited for you. This is an exciting opportunity to expand your horizons, but you've got to remember not to get off track, not to lose your focus. So you're going to be receiving some good news. Wow! This is, this is a new, exciting opportunity. This is a new vision, regaining your fire, regaining your um, passion. Wow, look at the fire. This is so exciting. You have an exciting new partner coming into your life or they've already entered your life. This person is very well suited for you. This is an ex very very there's it's fertile too this says just go for it go for it some of you probably have a new sexual partner that could grow into something really fast there's it, there's a deep attraction here this is a very attractive opportunity being offered to you this is an invitation or an offer it's very attractive somebody may think that you are very attractive or vice versa this is uh maybe you're getting a new a new drive a new desire to you know take back control i mean you're a fire sign you're regaining your focus that's what's going on here no more crying over the loss this is no more crying over. This is beginning to realize the truth. This is going through a recovery. You are recovering from a situation that hurt you. You have a new prospect here. You have a new love prospect, Leo. Somebody that could really... Uh, suit you well this person is right up your alley whoever this person is could be another fire sign could be a water sign so it could be a leo aries sagittarius or a pisces cancer scorpio but this is i'm done crying over this i'm done moping i'm done holding on i think you guys are breaking free from something because you got this exciting offer coming in Oh my gosh, uh, you may have been dealing with a Capricorn. This is this is unhealthy. This is toxic. Hmm. You know, you guys. This is there's there's sexual energy here. So you probably do have a new sexual partner here. But you're this is somebody that you are bound to. Is I think you guys have definitely been bound to something that is unhealthy. That is toxic. And you are probably very tempted to accept this new offer and run with it. Ah, oh, this is Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups Reverse is pretending you are happy, superficial, and shallow. And this is very superficial and shallow as well. So we have some superficiality here. <laughs> Interesting. Somebody has been pretending something as well over here. refusing to move on you may be dealing with somebody who has kept you bound and they are refusing to move on they want you to come back but you have another suitor that could go it could go vice versa as well we have a new suitor here but we also have somebody that you have been tied to that you need to sever ties with but this is pretending the eight of cups reverse is needing to leave for good but choosing not to again, okay? Choosing not to. Pretending everything is good. We have pretending here. We have somebody here that is a really good faker. This is lack of spiritual growth. This is ruled by the devil. Okay, somebody is ruled by a toxic situation. And, they're, and they can break free. They can break the chains. Okay, you can break these chains. You can. But the only way that you can break these chains is to not lose your focus. We definitely have emotional weakness and lack of self-esteem here. We do. We really do. 
this is refusing to change as well. We have somebody that just can't lose their lessons or lose, learn their lessons. They refuse to learn. They refuse to evolve. We have somebody here that may have some addictions, extreme addictions. And their ego is huge. When we get the devil card, that's extreme ego. And the temperance reverse is extremes. It's like you've been on this roller coaster ride and you just keep going round and round and round and round and round. Definitely we have somebody here that is spiritually closed off, refusing to wake up. Totally not awake. Totally not awake. I mean, I can't make this up. So superficial. We have a super, whether it's you or the other person, we have a superficial individual here that is, is very much um, unawakened, ruled by society, ruled by the devil, ruled by things, lust, greed, obsessions. You may have somebody that is obsessed with you or you are obsessed with them. They are holding you back. It's time to evolve. It's it's time for something better. But it's like you are bound to this because you will not sever the ties because it's attention. Even though it's negative attention, it's attention, right? We got somebody here who has hidden agendas. We have somebody here that uh, is, is experienced a, a loss of self because they're allowing another person to control them, to control their future. This is experiencing a repression and a loss of self because you need to walk away from something, but refusing to accept change, refusing to evolve, refusing to go after what you deserve, refusing to go after something better. You're holding on to something that is toxic and unhealthy because of, of tension. Yes, this is this is a very much overwhelmed, burdened, hanging on, needing to let go. The Ten of Wands. Definitely overwhelmed. Trying to prove something. But, Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is not putting in effort. You may be dealing with somebody who is keeping you bound. They're not doing their part. They're not a hard worker. They're lazy. They're... They look good. They do look good. But they're not uh, healthy. There's definitely addictions here. Somebody may have a sex addiction or a drug addiction. You're probably, you, you may be dealing with somebody who is just using you for sex. I'm just being honest. That won't resonate with everybody, but there's sex here. It's like somebody may be using another person for sex just because they're, they don't know their worth. They have lack of self-esteem. This person allows them to, you know, as long as it's attention, right? I can, I can take advantage of this person because they have low self-esteem, low self-confidence. And as long as I'm giving them attention, it's okay. Naive. We have somebody here that's not very awakened. That's the truth. Refusing to evolve. Playing games with somebody. They keep going back. They keep That's what it is. They keep going back. They keep going back. And they keep going back because of the sex or because of the obsession. The attention. That's why they keep going back. This person is sexually frustrated. You are dealing with somebody who is sexually frustrated. They just want to, you know, get their rocks off and leave. Anyway. Um, because this is, this is, uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm telling you right now. There's no stability here. This is all about lust, obsession, and greed. 
in sex. There's no stability here. None. Nothing long term. Instant gratification. Nine of Wands reversed. The Nine of Wands reversed is refusing to compromise. We have somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. This is um, somebody that keeps on repeating negative, repetitive patterns. Um, not learning. Somebody that just can't learn. Refusing. Uh, refusing to see. We have extreme pride. We have somebody that wants their own way. Okay. I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're dealing with. Uh, this is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. They're probably going to experience some setbacks because it's like they, they feel like they're so good that they're going to be the chosen one. You're the chosen one because I'm so good. I look so good. I, you know, I'm better than everybody else. We have somebody here that has a chip on their shoulder. Extreme pride. Then when you get this card reversed, somebody needs to come off their high horse. We have somebody here that is, is missing an opportunity because they're focused on something, a third party relationship, when there's a better, bigger opportunity for love. <laughs> we definitely have somebody that is definitely burdened very very burdened by not getting the love that they deserve it's like they're, they're holding on to somebody else and there's a big opportunity for love that they are missing that, that that they just can't see because they're focusing on something that is toxic and unhealthy so i feel like this week you may be you know going back going back and forth with somebody from your past you got somebody new um, and it doesn't have to be somebody from the past. It feels like you are exchanging energy with a toxic individual. This is an exchange. Toxic individual. Um, this toxic individual um, may want to have sex with you. They may want to start something. They may want to kindle, rekindle a flame or whatever it is. But it doesn't lead to anything. There's no payout here other than instant gratification. That's all there is, is instant gratification. There's a bigger, better opportunity that may not have been shown to you yet or you just can't see it because you're focused on the wrong thing. We have somebody here that has an extreme amount of pride in this, I'm serious, and this pride and ego is getting in the way. It's getting in the way of love because where is the love in these cards? It's missing. It's missing because of the need for negative attention. Sure, you can go have sex with whoever you want. I don't care. Nothing to me. But if, whoever this person is, it's only instant gratification. That's it. It's not love. It's not going to last. This person has hidden agendas and it's all about... getting laid or getting what they want they just want to get what they want they're not in it for love and I'm sorry I know you guys don't want to hear that but there this is not about love it's not whether it's you or the other person this is about lust this is about obsession this is about sex and it's not about long-term anything We got somebody here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, and keeps exchanging energy with this person. Missing the fact that there's a better opportunity for love. Somebody that would actually love you. But hey, attention is attention, right? Good luck.